Today, the officer killed in the Colorado grocery store shooting was laid to rest. There was a public memorial service for Officer Eric Talley. The officer was the first to arrive at the scene of last week's shooting. He leaves behind a wife and seven children. He was also a Ball State graduate that was truly loved by many. Well, the Indiana Department of Health says 79,000 people ages 30 to 39 signed up for their COVID vaccine yesterday. It was the first day eligibility was open to those 30 and over. And tomorrow it'll open up to everyone ages 16 and up. As of today, 1.1 million Hoosiers are now fully vaccinated. The Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department is welcoming its newest member, Hunter, as an electronic detection dog. He is the first of his kind kind within the department. Oh, Hunter is assigned to the cyber crimes unit. He is trained to locate any type of digital device from cell phones to SD cards. Hey, he's cute as a button. Oh, he really don't is. Don't mess with him. Absolutely. He can find you. Cute and tough like us. Uh, speaking of tough, the <laughs> NFL is increasing the regular season to 17 games and reducing the preseason to three games. Team owners approved the 17th game today, marking the first time in 43 years that the regular season has been increased. The Super Bowl now will move back a week to February 13th, which places it directly in the middle of Winter Olympics in Beijing. So a lot of folks talking about that. Mm -hmm. A local health care worker is taking the national spotlight last night. He sang the national anthem before the start of the Elite Eight games last night at Lucas Oil Stadium. <laughs> That voice that you just oh. heard was Brian Kelly. He's an IU grad, a clinical specialist who works for Medtronic, which makes ventilators for patients battling COVID-19. He also is an active member of the local music scene. Kelly says he was glad to get the chance to represent healthcare workers and the black community. Angelic voice. This opportunity to sing this national anthem means so much to me because it represents what I've had to fight through day, day in and day out going to work and then also what I've had to fight through day in and day out just based off of the color of my skin. Now, let me tell you something. He can sing, sing, sing. Not sing, but sing, and sing, so sing, sing, sing. And so much passion and soul in that. <laughs> and I'm glad that he wasn't shy about it. No, yeah, and no? I think uh, people actually have seen him singing all around town. You've seen him. Yeah, I've seen him at R&B Night at the Jazz Kitchen. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him there before. Yeah. And, you know, I love live music. I know yeah. you do. He's amazing. He, yeah. he really is. Yeah. And it'd be but, the perfect night for it. Tonight, yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. If you, only you could just sing the weather. I wish. Mm -hmm. I we need to just call him up. I, yeah, he, mm -hmm. he could sing the weather. <laughs> and I would listen, but I could not sing the weather. You heard me singing Shaka Khan yesterday. I'm not that great at it. Listen, but I appreciated the effort, though. The, it was I good. Tried. That was the passion. passion. That was I, there. Little I, tried. Mm -hmm. I tried a little yeah, bit. I can sing. You're mm -hmm. being mocked. Oh, okay. Well, I wish I could sing, but I can't. But I can tell you it's a good day to sing some Shaka